Air Pollution Control Measures and Emission Norms for India Delhi's air pollution problems in the winter times, especially in 2015 and 16, have woken up the country about the increasing air pollution and the associated health problems. This is common for most of our cities. India will move up to the toughest emission standards of BS6, that is Bharat Stage 6, from the current BS4 and that will be done by 2020. This has been announced by the Ministry of Road Transport draft notification that has been issued recently in November 2015. Before we go into full details, let us take a look at the India's efforts in controlling the emissions. India embarked on a formal emission control regime in 1991. India introduced emission norms first time in 1991 as said before and tightened them in 1996 when most vehicle manufacturers had to incorporate technology upgrades like the catalytic converters to cut exhaust emissions, fuel specifications based on environmental constitutions were also notified first in April 1996 and they were to be implemented by 2000 and it was incorporated in BIS 2000 standards. Now, in 1991-92, the first stage of mass emission norms came into force for petrol vehicles in 1991 and in 1992 for diesel vehicles. From April 1995, the government made fitment of catalytic converters compulsory in the new petrol fueled passenger cars that was to be sold in four metros, that is Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai. And this was along with the supply of unleaded petrol ULP. Availability of ULP was extended to 42 major cities and now it is available, of course, across the country. Now from 2000 to 2001. In 2000, passenger cars and commercial vehicles met Euro 1 equivalent India 2000 norms. Euro 2 equivalent that is Bharat stage 2 norms were in force from 2001 in 4 metros that is Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata. How far this was implemented and how far it was checked by the authorities is a different question, but these norms were officially were announced. This is all in record. Following the landmark Supreme Court order in April 1999, the center notified that the Bharat stage, that is BIS 2000 and Bharat stage 2 norms, that is broadly equivalent to Euro 1 and Euro 2 respectively. BS2 was for the NCR, that is National Capital Region and other metros. BS1 was for the rest of India. Now, let us see what happened in 2002. The first auto fuel policy was announced in August 2002. It laid down the emission and fuel roadmap to 2010 and as per the policy of four wheelers in 13 metro cities moved to BS3 norm emission norms from April 2005 and the rest of the country to BS2. Now in 2010 BS4 for 13 metro cities was implemented from April 2010 and the rest of the country moved to BS3. Now, it has been now extended to more than 50 cities. In 2014, second version of the fuel policy, that is Auto Fuel Policy 2025, was submitted to the Oil and Gas Ministry and that is the one which lays down the emission homes. And the fuel road map up to 2025 was framed at, and it envisages S54 rollout across the country by 2017 and that would be done in a phased manner with the BS5 emissions in 2021 
and BS 6 from 2024. Now, this is a very important proposal and but this proposal is yet to be accepted by the government and yet to be notified. Now, we have been talking about the Bharat stage or BS standard. What is this BS standard? Let us take a look at this. The BS are the Bharat stage emission standards or norms that are instituted by the government to regulate the output of air pollutants from internal combustion engine equipment. It includes motor vehicles and India has been following the European that is Euro emission norms though with a time lag of 5 years. Now BS4 norms are currently in place and they are applicable in 33 cities and this requires a grade of fuel which is very specific and the rest of India still conforms to BS3 standards only. Now as per the roadmap in the auto fuel policy, BS5 and BS6 norms were to be implemented by 2022 and April 2024 respectively that is BS5 in 2022 and BS6 in 2024 but in November 2015 the Ministry of Road Transport issued a draft notification and it advanced the implementation of BS5 norms for new four-wheel vehicle models to April 2019 itself and for existing models to April 1st, 2020. And this corresponds to dates for BS6 norms were brought forward to April 2021 and April 2022 respectively. The government took an anonymous decision in this to leapfrog that is advance the BS6 norms directly from 1-4-2020 itself. Therefore, it has skipped the BS5 stage altogether. Now, there are many challenges for the country to adopt this new auto fuel policy and enforcing these emission norms. Now, let us see one by one. The government could face two key challenges in implementing the decision. First of all, there are questions about the ability of oil marketing companies to quickly upgrade the fuel that is required for BS3 and BS4 standards and that has to be upgraded to BS6 which has been called for and it is likely to cost entire thing is likely to cost upwards of 40,000 crore rupees which is not a small amount. Now secondly the more challenging is the task of getting auto firms to make the leap that is from BS4 to BS6 directly and for this automakers have clearly said that the going to BS6 standard directly would leave them with not enough time at all to design changes in the vehicles. It is because two critical components diesel particular filter and selective catalytic reduction module. These two components would have to be adopted to India's peculiar conditions that is running speeds which is very critical and running speeds in India are much lower than in Europe or the United States. Now, these challenges are very real and the penetration of BS4 motor spirit that is petrol in the domestic market a full four years after introduction in the metro is only just about 24 percent and that of bs4 high speed diesel is only 16 percent and these figures are according to the government data itself that is collected in 2014. so this is a large proportion of vehicles that need to be upgraded and it is a very herculean task the rollout model of introducing a higher grade fuel and vehicles first in the cities has many fundamental drawbacks and this was evident in the BS4 implementation itself. In the periphery of designated BS4 cities, there BS3 vehicles could be registered 
and BS4 vehicles, especially heavy vehicles, more expensive and BS3 fuel was cheaper than the BS4 equivalent. So there is a discrepancy of the standards and the fuel availability for the standardized vehicle emission norms. The interstate trucks and buses are the biggest polluters as we all know and they were forced to stay on with BS3 engines. It was because the fuel outside the cities did not conform to BS4 norms. So once again this brings out the imbalance between the engine specifications and the corresponding fuel availability in the market. Now this has a lot of impact on the industry. It will make cars, sports, utility vehicles that is SUVs, trucks and buses more expensive because of the technology that is involved in upgrading the engines. Broadly, BS4 petrol and diesel have 50 parts per million that is ppm of sulfur as compared to 150 ppm for petrol and 350 ppm for diesel under BS3 standards. Oil companies have already put in 30,000 crore rupees between 2005 and 2010. This is as per their claim and that was spent towards the upgrading of the fuel. The auto industry has made investments of similar size also. Oil firms will have to invest another 40,000 crore rupees to upgrade the fuel quality to meet the BS4 standards. Additional investments by automakers to upgrade will inevitably raise the prices of the vehicles. This is quite obvious. Now, the famous uh, Bosch Limited company, the world's largest manufacturer of fuel injection systems and engine technologies, has warned the government that such a move could lead to safety and quality problems as well. Now, moving to BS6 standard directly, omitting the BS5 standard as discussed earlier, will require a very significant technological upgrades and auto companies may have to invest 40,000 to 60,000 crore rupees as per the estimation. This move will of course increase the price of cars in India very substantially. So, argument of the industry is very clear on the financial implications and implementation of the new norms. The auto industry argues that the huge investments in vehicular technology since 2000 have had a little impact in India due to Indian driving, road and ambient conditions. The technology that will be used in the future BS6 vehicles uh, will have a very considerable impact. BS5 diesel vehicles were to have engine upgrades, particular filters and lots of sensors and electronic control. And BS6 will involve further more things. Now, petrols were to have a catalytic and electronic control upgrades. Now, industry estimates that the required investment to upgrade from BS4 to BS5 will be to the tune of 50,000 crore rupees. Vehicles must be fitted with the DPF diesel particular filters inside the engine compartment in India and small cars would be preferred fitting this diesel particular filters and that will be in the limited bonnet space. And this would involve a major design and re-engineering work. Bonnet length for this will have to be increased and this would make a vehicle longer that is longer than the 4 meters and this will attract more excise duty as well. Now this diesel particular filter will have to be optimized for Indian conditions. The technology available in Europe cannot be used in plug and play mode. This is what the auto majors are claiming. Low driving speeds in India would make it difficult as said before to achieve temperatures that are required to burn the soot in the this particular filter that is diesel particular filter. 
equipment manufacturer would have to work with the temperatures of 400 degrees in site. Usually diesel is injected to increase temperatures, but the accumulation of excess fuel in compartment can cause fire. The injection rate has to be optimized for vehicles and re-engineered for safety. The integrity of the vehicle too has to be considered. This would require a validation test over 6 lakh to 7 lakh kilometers and this process would involve longer period that is up to 4 years. The auto industry points out that BS6 vehicles need to be equipped with selective catalytic reduction and that is a module to reduce the oxides of nitrogen and for this container needs to be put on the board and also an anti-defect mechanism will have to be devised. Infrastructure for this needs to be set up across the country for the supply of the fuel. The optimization and fitment of this technology would also take estimated 3 to 4 years. Therefore, at every stage the technology is getting more complex. This is what the auto industry is pointing out very emphatically. And to attain these specified super low emission, all reactions will have to be precise and controlled by microprocessors. And if BS5 were to be skipped entirely and go on to BS6, then the diesel filter and the selective catalytic reduction mentioned above would need to be fitted together for testing and this auto firms say that would make it extremely difficult to detect which of the technology is at fault if there are any errors in the system whether it is a BS5 or BS6 modules. Now they also say that the ideally the technologies must be introduced in series then they will be synergized and balanced. So even if oil companies manage to leap at once to BS6 model, auto firms claim that they would need at least 6 to 7 years to switch to BS6 model.